Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing The Story of Henry Bishop. This came out on Steam today, November 7th, and we're going to play it and see if it's any good. Um, I, of course, buy every horror game that comes out, on the day it comes out usually. Uh, I bought two today, I bought this one, I bought uh, The Coma 2, I think. Um, but I had to play some Lithium first before I could play this. So yeah, we played Lithium in May 39 Part 3, and now we're going to do this. And then I have to go get my girlfriend from work, and then we'll try um, the coma too. So that'll be on the docket for tonight. Unfortunately, I won't be able to continue Luigi's Mansion 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, or The Outer Worlds until this weekend, or at least play new episodes of them because Death Stranding comes out tomorrow, and I might live stream it. I'm not sure. That might be my first live stream, so we'll see. I haven't decided yet if that's what it's going to be or not, but, um, I really want to. <clears throat> Alright, WASD, tab is inventory, F is light, E to interact, shift to run. Okay. What happened? Oh, all right. Where was the flashlight? I thought I saw it on the floor. What is this? Many wardrobes have strange symbols. It seems to me that I've seen something like this before. These symbols seem to keep these creatures out. The only place where I can have a sleep is these damn wardrobes. I can't figure out how to get out of this place. The only food I can find here is these rats, which swarm like wasps around my wounded body. They are waiting for me to breathe my last breath so that they could fill their little stomachs with my flesh. The gramophone lags the tone arm. Okay. Oh, so we do have a flashlight. We've already got it in our possession. Wait, just want to make sure. You never know. That's a weird staircase. Oh god. Is there a save? There is not. Am I gonna die? Sometimes they come back. Boy, how did you get to this place? Boy! Boy. Hey. Boy? Oh. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. Achievement unlocked. First meeting. That's already open. I don't need to press E to open. It is already open. Okay. Ah, the locker is locked. Hmm. Was there something I was supposed to find on it? All right. Just making sure. Oops. Oh boy. Okay. Looking at dead bodies is having some sort of amnesia did the descent effect on me it's a rat <clears throat> sorry I don't know what's going on with my throat my bad hey we got a golden key can I push this? Can I push this out the way? I guess not. I guess not. It's a bloody mask. Ooh, what's that? That looks healthy. That's so healthy what you guys are doing in there. Wanted. 
Dead or Alive, Joshua Peterson, 12-year-old. On 27 September, he left home, and up to the present moment, his whereabouts are unknown. Anyone who can report any information, please call 363-5050. Something is obviously wrong with this guy, he says. What do you mean, obviously? Gramophone tone arm! We found it! The door is locked. Alright. Whoa! Jesus! To get free, click left mouse. Ah! I need to hide. This creature haunts me. There was something in here, wasn't there? Where was it? It was over here. Okay. Here we go. How do I know when it's safe to leave? I don't know how long to wait. I hear him. He's out there. Alright, I want to leave. Alright, this is taking forever. He's still out there? Oh wait, the gramophone's in the other room. <laughs> Shit. Ground gramophone lags the tone arm. There's no record here. Wait, what? We need a record too? Oh shit. I didn't know that. Oh shit, he's here. How the hell am I going to get by this guy? Oh shit. Close it! Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! He wouldn't close it! This way or that way? Where do I go? He came out of there. Golden key. The house key. Go golden, golden key. How do I use it? It's got to go here somewhere, right? Ah, the locker is locked. Oh, fuck off! Damn it! So what am I supposed to do then?
I don't know what to do then. This door is locked. There's no way through there. This is locked, even locked, though locked. I have keys. I have two keys. But there wasn't anything else locked upstairs, was there? Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. Didn't think he'd still be standing there. If I'd known that I was still looking for something that was locked, I'd have checked around more up here, but I'm pretty sure... Okay, the drawer. The locker is locked. Okay, so not the drawer. Alright, well then what else? What else is there? There's nothing else! I've checked everything! There's no record here. Oh, fuck off! Get in there. How the hell do you get back up here so quick? So what the fuck? Where is the record at then? I've tried to open doors with these keys and they don't fucking open. Nothing opens with them. Ah, the locker is locked. Oh, you fuck! Ugh! I tried to use those keys before and it wouldn't let me. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Oh, what? What the fuck? He wasn't up here! He was not up here! He went down the goddamn stairs! What the fuck is up with this game? This is some bullshit! My name is Harry Achievement Dick. unlocked the road to Stonebridge. horrible story. Yeah, it is a horrible story. Jesus, man, what the fuck? And even the most terrible nightmare will seem only echoes of horror in comparison with those mysterious events which I participated in. I worked as a real estate agent, and we had an old mansion in America which no one could sell. It was a dead weight in our company, as a stale product on a store shelf which was losing its value every day. After all, houses also have a shelf life. And then, one May morning, the silence of our office on the 5th Avenue was broken by a telephone call. That call changed my whole life. It was a Mr. Johnson, a very strange client, who was willing to seize this old junk called house. And even the fact that a family of five people disappeared in this house did not frighten him. But on the contrary, it was the reason for such a strange purchase. After a brief conversation, my boss decided to send me to Stonebridge, to this provincial hall in Maine. My task was to inspect the house and make sure that it still didn't fall apart, and then to contact the client for a deal. My name is Henry Bishop. I will tell you my horrible story. Ugh! I hope the rest of this goes easier than that. Man, what the fuck? So that other key had to go to that door then. And I tried both keys on that door. Right? Or it had to go, oh, to that cabinet. So what the hell? Why didn't it just use them? I don't... I, this game's confusing a lot. The door is locked. The key might be in the house. 
Maybe. Why do I still have this key uh, in my inventory? Key. Did he say house key or not the house key? I heard him say something. Ma'am, what are you doing here? It is a private property. He locked me. Locked me up in this chest. Who locked you up? My master. It's all his fault. Master. Why can't I can't see your the brain. key and set you free. And then I will take you to the sheriff. No, we should not free that person. Uh uh. Nope. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with you right now, cause you're an idiot who doesn't know what to do. Let's see. There is no way we should let that thing out. Mm -mm. Let's go out back. What is this? High voltage. Hmm. What do we do here? All right, hold on. First position, second. So wait, one one, one one two, one one three. Okay. One two one, one two two, one two three. One three one one three two one three three. Okay. So we did. I did do all these, right? Okay. And then put that back. Do two. Okay. Three. There we go. Shimon unlocked. Work. Let the light burn. Nice. So I guess that was a good thing. Sail. Dear Mr. Bishop, the wiring in old houses is not reliable, so I reassured and turned off the electricity. All you need is to find a switchboard and follow my instructions. Three starlings flew toward the light. The first below, the second above, and the third in the middle. <laughs> Darkness comes there where light is turned on. Okay. House key must be in my bag. I must have, uh... Alright, well, maybe maybe that was the key. Anyway, I must have, um... Just missed the... No I, did, I guess I just didn't click on the door when we got here. My bad. My bad. What does this thing say? Seam... Era... What is that on the side? Error... Era Jodel, Arn jo Arn Lodel, oh, Arn Loader. I don't know what that says over there on the left. Seam? I don't know what that is either. These words mean nothing. J K V O C M K P. That's definitely not a word. There's no way, unless it's Russian or something. Jvakumk. There's only one vowel, it's like super long. Jukvakum kip. Seam. Swimming in the sea, sea, sea. All right, load times, fantastic, love it. There we go, achievement unlocked, hello, old house. Hello, old house. Press E to open. I don't want to open, I wanted to look at the picture. I guess I can't. All right, what's back here? Anything? E to open. Weird. Hey, we got a knife already. Sweet. We got a butcher knife. Nothing. Holy Bible. Holy Bible. The chest is locked. You can do 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 do
Mistress of the house, perhaps, perhaps. It's jammed. I need to pry it with something. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, pry it with a knife. Ooh, we got a plunger. And now I'm down a knife. Oh God, no, no, I don't want to fight anybody again yet. That was terrible. I don't want to go through that again. Don't make me. No. 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 Horrible. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. Copyright strike coming for me. A body has been found in Fur Lake. Fisherman Billy's body has been found today in the morning near Fur Lake. According to preliminary information, Billy was strangled. Then his body was thrown into water. The sheriff rejected to comment on this brutal murder, stating that the perpetrator would certainly be found and get the punishment he deserved. We all mourn for Billy. To some people, he was just an acquaintance. To the other, he was a friend. Anyway, he did not deserve such a terrible fate. There have never been such tragic events in our small town before in this hard time we in this hard time we 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 all the way home i gotta stop doing that i'm so gonna get a copyright strike Stop doing that. News today. Seven-year-old Alicia Nelson became the victim of the fire. The tragedy happened on September 5th at 12.30 p.m. According to the preliminary data, a fire in the Nelson house broke out as a result of a children prank. A game with fire took the life of seven-year-old Alicia Nelson. Her 10-year-old brother Robert got minor burns and was taken to St. Edmundo Hospital. Some kind of ritual staff. Okay. Little key, little key, little key, let me come in. All right, that doesn't go there, but it could go to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, what do we see that needed a key? Um, like a chest. There's a chest, right? What was that chest? Back here? Yeah. All right, let's see. Hey, it worked. Wait. Maid's Diary. Achievement unlocked. Handmaid's Diary. Backwards and forwards. Let's see. April 5th, 1966. Today in the newspapers, they wrote that they had found a body of Fisherman Billy on the shore of Fur Lake. Someone killed him, but the murderer was never found. Now I am very scared to return from the city when it's dark, so I asked Mr. Nelson not to give me errands, which might make me stay late. At least until they find the murderer. Nothing of that kind has ever happened in our quiet, peaceful town before. Now I need to look after children carefully, because they like to walk along the lakeshore very much. It is so scary to live near this place. Billy was always so kind to me. He was friends with my father. Dad, I miss you so much. April 15th. Mr. Nelson has been very concerned about something lately. He often locks himself in his office and stays there for several days. I wonder what does he do up there? What does he do there? Miss Nelson is very anxious about it, and she's constantly sad. Or should I say Mrs.? I can surely say that I work in a very strange family, and maybe I would leave, but I need money, and they pay a good salary, and I've become very attached to the children. Josh is always playing pirates and is trying to find some treasure. It even seemed to me that he himself had hidden some treasure in the courtyard of our house. May 22nd. Hello, my dear diary. I write my news here less and less, but it's not because I'm lazy. It's simply because there's no particular news. Today it's raining all day and me and children are playing in the house. Mr. Nelson has always locked himself in his office and asked not to disturb him. June 1st. Today Mr. Nelson ordered me to buy some things. He wants to sail to Africa. It's so romantic. 
I've always dreamed to travel and see the whole world, and there are so many exotic places in Africa. They even say that elephants walk in the streets there, and I've never seen an elephant in my life, only in pictures. I'm so happy for Mr. Nelson. He has even brightened up a little. Maybe when he returns, he will stop locking himself in his office. June 20th. Mr. Nelson has been acting very strange after his return from Africa. It seems to me that he is constantly watching me. He has become very polite and courteous. He has even raised my salary. To be honest, it scares me. Something has changed in him. I don't know what exactly, but he has become somehow different. Maybe he's fallen in love with me. I hope it's not true. If he starts to molest, I'll have to resign. But I've got so used to this house and the children, especially now when it's not so easy to find a good job. Well, I'm strong. I can handle it. July 2nd. Tonight I woke up and saw Mr. Nelson in my room. He was just sitting and staring at me. I got very scared. He didn't anyhow explain his presence, but simply said that he was worried about me. I can't take it anymore, and I told him that I would resign, but Mr. Nelson insisted that I stay for a short while until I find myself a new job. I agreed. Anyway, I have nowhere to go, but from now on, I will close my door at night, and just in case, I stole a kitchen knife, and now it's lying under my pillow. I'm scared. And that's it. That is it. She was scared, she had the knife, and then nothing. So, not good. Oh, what? Where did that come from? Where did that blood come from? What we got? We got a plunger? That's not going to help us defend ourselves, is it? Child's room. Toy locomotive, but I'm definitely not playing games. Toy block with numbers. Okay. This is probably the safe combination, but I don't know how to figure it out. What is this awful creature? Teddy bear, pretty worn. Plane. I had the same one when I was a child. Toy cart from the locomotive. Drawing of the family, but who is standing near? I don't know. The chest is locked. The house key. Does not work on it. All right. Well, there's only two numbered blocks, so maybe I'm wrong about what they're used for. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. One of these do you think would be the bathroom? I would guess this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, toilet the is toilet clogged. is clodged. Clodged? They said clodged. What? <laughs> what? I don't know how you say that. Star. I doubt it belongs to a samurai. Me too. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The doll seems to be watching me. Oh, Jesus! She unlocked damned gramophone. Ah! I can't get out! Ah! We got to get out of here. Where do I go? Oh, what the hell, man? I didn't go in the two double doors because I thought, oh, that's where it wants me to go. Now what? Oh my god! I can't go away. That awful creature is wandering somewhere there in the woods. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Do I have to go back in? Oh god. Look at my health! What the hell?
Oh god. This is so bad. I got a shovel. Telephone doesn't work. Wait, was there anything on the bottom? No. There's no numbers like highlighted or anything. Radio doesn't work. Okay. There is no record here. Oh yeah, I don't have a record. Hmm. Is that thing still in here? I can't tell, and I kind of don't want to go in there. How do I unlock this box? Oh, the star! Nice! Looks like a map. Treasure map achievement unlocked. So I gotta go outside and dig. Oh god. Okay, it's over here somewhere. Right here? This is the place marked on the map. Achievement unlocked treasure. I've been watching my father and I know his secret access code now. I'm definitely checking what kind of treasures he stores in his safe box. Blue, purple, green, green. Okay. Well, what... Where did the blocks go? There were blocks in there. Blue, purple, green, green. Blue, purple, green, green. Okay. What is blue, purple, green, and green? I can't even see through all this crap. Oh, hold on. I got it. I think I know. Ah! What are you doing? Child's room. Blue, purple, so four, five, two, two. Let's make sure they match. Four, five, two, two, I think. All right, let's go. Okay. House Master Diary. Achievement unlocked Nelson's Diary. Oh, we can't even read it. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, I can't even read it. Okay, there's a key. Might have been used outside the house, he says. All right. I don't see why we're not like healing or, or something. Because if they don't have uh, a way for you to heal, I mean, you can't. They can't just expect you to play the whole game like that. And crowbar. Human skull. Wait. Okay. Nothing crazy about that, I guess. The chest is locked. Use crowbar. Damn. Record. Is our real bone? Achievement unlocked bones. Okay, so now we go back in and play the record. Oh god. Oh god, there's more. Get in there! Oh <laughs> Jesus. Hey, you. 
Oh, we are so dead. <laughs> yeah. Weird. That is so weird. <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play anymore. I think I need to go get my girlfriend. So I don't know what's going to happen when it loads. But if there's a cutscene or something, we'll watch it. And then I, I got to go. But uh, what a way to end it, right? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. Oh, wow, man. This game's crazy. I was frustrated at the beginning, and now I'm kind of liking it. It's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. I actually am enjoying it. Let's see what it says when it loads. Come on, load times. Load times, load times, load times. <laughs> oh boy, are we in the place we woke up at the beginning of the game? We are! What? Does it start over? Oh, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, the gramophone's gone. So it's this is different. Okay. All right, this is different. All right. We are going to continue this in part two. I hope you guys are enjoying the story of Henry Bishop, because I actually am. I like this. We're definitely going to continue this for sure. And if you want to check it out for yourselves, it was fairly cheap. Uh, I bought it today, and it was, uh, trying to think, um, $5 maybe, I think. I can't remember. But if you if you want to try it for yourself, it's fairly cheap, and it's on Steam now. You stay you, I'll stay me, Drew forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, tell that like button you want to smash. And I will see you next time. Later.